Call of Duty is well known for its secrets and easter eggs, from channels devoting their time to keep you up to date with the latest zombie easter egg video, to videos showing easter eggs within the multiplayer, maps referencing trivia from the world we live in. We can all agree that Call of Duty hides and provides one of the most interesting secrets for the consumers to find, but it's the secrets that are unknown to us that sparks the interest. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to introduce my new video series, Top 10s. Well, this week we're just going to start off with only 5 facts of Call of Duty that you might not know about, but if the series receives good ratings and sparks interest to you guys, I'll continue the series. But anyway, let's get started with the top 5 Call of Duty Black Ops 1 maps that were cancelled. Number 1. Airbase. With little information known about this map, there is video footage of it. The map shows strong similarities with the map launch. The map was probably scrapped due to the weak processing power of the old gen consoles, and the map was supposed to be in the game when the game released. It was replaced with launch, but if you dig through the PC code, you can still access it and play it, as the video of the leaked map can be seen. Number 2. Underwater. This map code name within the PC shows that the map would likely take place underwater, with a description stating, Underwater seems to be a map of underwater facility, possibly based on the other underwater facility from Redemption. The symmetry in the map would make a good and fair game for both teams, but the map might have been scrapped because of the air-based killstreaks such as the Rolling Thunder, the Carry Package, and the Helicopter Support would have not been logical or possible in this map as it's underwater. But what do you guys think? Do you guys think that this map would have passed development and been placed within the DLC map pack even with the barriers of the map being underwater? Number 3. Landing. Landing seems to be an airstrip possibly based on the airstrip mission in Operation 40. The layout is very similar to another map in the game, Launch. The map appears to be also similar to another map in the Call of Duty franchise, which is Ambush from Call of Duty 4. There is a large area to fight in over both sides of the map and a long strip of the land in the middle. The, land, uh, the reason why the map was cancelled might have been that it's the layout is too similar to Launch and Ambush, thus making it not worthy to put in the game. Number 4. Shipyard. Shipyard is a cancel multiplayer map that was planned to be featured in Call of Duty Black Ops 1. Shipyard seems to be a map of a shipping port, similar to a cancelled map in Call of Duty World at War docks, but that's for a later episode. The map was cancelled very early in the game's development, as most of the textures are generic checkboard like textures, the textures like you've seen before. Number 5 jungle besides the actual map that was placed in call of duty black ops this version of jungle seems to be a map of a military base in a jungle village during a storm um, the symmetry of the map would have a helicopter landing pad on each side and same shaped buildings from each side it was probably you know it was scrapped quite late in the development as vote icons were created. The map size was of the like the size of Nuketown and it was also scrapped of the similarities it had with Nuketown. Well that's it for today's video. Please leave a, li uh, a comment and a like if you guys like these types of videos. If I see a lot of positive feedback then I'll extend it to the top 10s and make more videos about this. About these type of facts that you might not know about. But what map from the top 5 would you like to see in Call of Duty Black Ops? And why till- why? Like why? So, till next time guys, I will see you guys when I see you guys.